This is the Alfa Romeo 4C Spider. More evidence that the two-seat sports car is really back. The new Italian Contender is a throwback to the company's great racing days. A fast, lightweight, turbocharged four-cylinder hooligan stripped down to the bare minimum. Getting in and out is a little challenging. And this is why I don't wear a miniskirt. Inside, the car's minimalism becomes immediately apparent. The dash is spare, there's no infotainment system, the hard, narrow seats adjust manually. Carbon fiber is used extensively to cut weight. There's no glove compartment and no center console. You'll have to store all your belongings in a little cubby behind the cup holder. Even the radio is a bit of a throwback. It has a faceplate that you can take off, just like we did in the old days when people stole things like this. The DNA of the engine is exposed right here in the DNA button. D for dynamic, N for natural, and A for all weather. There are buttons for neutral, first gear, reverse, and AM for choosing automatic or manual modes. Alfa Romeo, now owned by giant Fiat Chrysler Corporation, says the 4C gets 24 miles per gallon in the city and 34 on the highway, though probably not that much if it's being driven in dynamic mode. The 4C comes into its own at speed, accelerating into a straightaway or diving into a tight corner. No matter which driving mode you're in, the acceleration is really intense. The ride is raw, unrefined fun, and the raspy sound is a road racer's delight. But it's not for everybody. The top is really unwieldy. First, you unscrew these two bolts. And if you're lucky, the top pops open. And you can roll the whole thing up and store it in the trunk. Getting that top back on is even tougher. You'll need two people, four hands, and an engineering degree. The drivers caught in this spider's web are going to be real enthusiasts who remember and love the great Alfa Romeo racing history and want to be part of the company's push to get back on American roads.